Carmen is waiting. Tell her the shots of me are actually quite good. Oh, you're the driver everyone talks about. Haley's asked for pictures of all the cars at the festival. It's called Horizon Promo. And obviously, we want action shots, fast ones. I can do fast. Let's go. For Horizon Promo, you just need to take a picture of your car, but it'll look better with a little drama. Let's head into the storm and find the perfect location. This is incredible! The photos look great! But there aren't supposed to be any statues like that near here! Perhaps it was uncovered by the storm. Yeah, that must be it. Okay, I'll get these photos to Haley. We should go treasure hunting again soon, eh? I'll call you! Hola, amigo. I found something. Drop by when you can. Okay, I'll be right there. Hola, hola! Remember the old book I told you about? I went and dug it out of a box at my padre's place. I want to try and find something. And you need a driver. And I need a driver. Yeah, bien. Head for Las Barrancas. I'll explain on the way. So, what are we looking for? My favorite book is called El Camino de Sidney Wolverstone, about an explorer who traveled Mexico 200 years ago. In her book, she describes these Atlantis she found, giant statues. But there aren't supposed to be any of those near here. Giant statues? From an old book? <laughs> that aren't supposed to exist, yes! I've been piecing together clues from the book. Do you think you can get this car right into the river at the bottom of the Copper Canyon? <laughs> you really don't know me very well. The Copper Canyon is a wonder of Mexico. There used to be six separate rivers which came together to create the landscape that we're seeing now. Four times larger than the Grand Canyon, covering 25,000 square miles. <laughs> oh, and the green color in the rock? Is why I got that name, Copper. Mm, a ver, let's get pictures here. In the book, Lady Sydney's expedition makes camp here. But that's just a fun story. Yeah, 
The book talks about setting up camp on an island and finding the statue in the afternoon light. It would have been about this. That is increíble. How has no one ever found this before? Hola, amigo. According to the book, there is a statue at El Arco de Cabo San Lucas. Wolverstone said she found it at sunset, but I thought we could try an experiment. I've worked out where the book says the statue should be. We can set out and reach the area around mid-morning and see what we can find. Or the other option is we get to El Arco just as the sun sets. If you believe the story, that's when we'll find the statue. Meet me here when you're ready to set out. We'll reach El Arco by mid-morning easily. All right, let's get going. The sun's setting, but we have enough time to get there along the beach. I'm excited. Do you think we'll find it? To be honest, I don't know. But I'm getting the sense that there's more to Mexico than meets the eye. Did you know Sydney Wolverstone was also a, uh, I can say what's the word, a botanista? A botanist, a natural historian, and a pretty decent artista. You want to talk about Las Maravillas de Mexico? Just read about her life. The book describes several sites where Sydney Wolverstone found statues. She believes they weren't Aztec, though, which is interesting because they look Doltec to me. But even that isn't really clear. We know so little about the Doltecs, about the whole pre-conquest era, in fact. There are so many undiscovered sites, so much forgotten history in Mexico, so many things we don't know about the people who've lived here for thousands of years. Interesting. The design doesn't seem entirely Aztec, but it does remind me of Tlaloc, the rain god. <laughs> this is amazing. I'll work out where the next one should be and give you a call. Mm. Where does the trail lead from here? South and inland. I'm sure of it. I'll be in touch. Amigo, I've been reading the diary over and over. I think Lady Sydney's expedition came inland, but... No sé, it's hard to find the evidence. Okay, mira, escucha. Listen to this. El pueblo de Muleje, un oasis tranquilo. If she made it to Muleje, the expedition must have traveled upriver. I still can't believe this. I used to take the book to mi escuela and my teachers told me Lady Wolverstone's adventures were as fictional as Pedro Baramo or Sherlock Holmes. So she never got any credit? Never asked for any. She said she was writing stories for her grandchildren. But if they're true, her story deserves to be told. And you and I can prove it. Vamos, to Muleje. Let's go. We can start in the center of town and move outwards. I always forget how beautiful Muleje is. A ver, a ver. Uh, let's get shots around here while we search. People have lived here for thousands of years because of the water and the fishing and, well, <laughs> now tourism too. Lady Sydney must have camped on the south edge of the river. Ay, a ver, hey, can you see anything?
Lady Sydney writes that a local bruja, a wise woman, said the statues were only visible on certain days in the rain because they are statues of Tlaloc. I still think it's the trees hiding it. But call me when you work out the next location, OK? Hola, amigo. Haley called to ask about the promo shots, but when I told her about the diary, she said they could wait. Come pick me up. We need to go to Aguazul. I'll be right over. In 400 yards. Uh-huh. Ready to head for Agua Azul? Eso bien. We might get a little wet. <laughs> I'll keep the windows closed. OK, OK, a ver. OK. Uh, let me translate this part. The cool waters of Agua Azul quenched our thirst and inspired our hearts. In the heart of the blue water is where we found them. Then are we looking for more than one statue, maybe? And in the heart of the blue water? What does that mean, Alan? So, so the question is, why was the diary of Lady Sydney Wolverstone published as fiction? She was really here. She, she really had aventuras all over Mexico. Maybe she didn't want to be famous. Or maybe she didn't think anybody would believe her. Muy bien. Keep heading west. Muy bien, ahí estás. Eh, we'll turn off the road near the waterfalls. Sí, 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 lo reconozco. Okay, we're getting close now. The waterfalls get their name from the bright blue water. The name literally means blue water waterfalls. It has to be the place. Well, if video games have told me anything... <laughs> It'll be behind the waterfall. Claro, come on. Oh, the pictures are good. And you know, having pictures means no one can doubt us if we can find the statues again. Oy, oy, oy. This is big. I have our next lead. Meet me as soon as you can. Arrived at your destination. I found more of Lady Sydney's papers. Original drafts of El Camino. She made pencil sketches of formations that I recognize in the Valle de las Ranas, and she sketched one of the statues. Lead the way. Okay, okay, so, uh, they have a fantastic creatures carved in rock. Uh huh. And she found the statue early one morning. And <laughs> get this it was after a rainstorm. And this is another statue of Tlaloc. That is interesting. Let's see if we can find it. El Valle is east of Guanajuato. Mira, let's go. Valle de las Ranas means Valley of the Frogs, though I always thought the stones looked more like fantastical creatures. And Lady Sydney did too. She got sketches in her book. Mira, imagínate, lo imagine it. Explorers like Lady Sydney came all this way with nothing but ganas y un gran amor for the wilds of Mexico. She sounds like someone I know. <laughs> yes. Yo, I shoot cars for the festival. You do all the work. And my ride is a lot faster than her wagons, no? <laughs> we have slightly more than one horsepower. Bueno, I suppose reading El Diario is one of the reasons I became una fotógrafa. I wanted to capture the same belleza she did.
today, the Valle de las Ranas is one of the most visited natural wonders in Mexico. Lady Sydney definitely knew a marvel when she saw one. But the guidebooks don't say anything about a Tlaloc statue here. <laughs> I have it. No, perdón, no hay tiempo para explicar. Just come and meet me. In 400 yards, you your destination. Mira, mira, I cross-referenced the final pages of the book with all the other papers I could find, and it's Ekbalam. It has to be. Lady Sydney Wolverstone's expedition headed south to Ekbalam. I've been to Ekbalam. I know the way. Ekbalam was only properly studied in the 90s, but we know very little about it, actually. In fact, researchers are divided on exactly how much of what we know about the Toltecs is historical and how much is Aztec legend. So why are we going to Ekbalam and not Tilla? Wolverstone's book doesn't call it Ekbalam, of course, but she describes a large group of buildings, perhaps 20 or more, and a large oval palace. <laughs> and listen to this. Three large statues of the sort I have found in other places. Three? I'm pretty sure I only saw two. No, that's not all. She also wrote the third largest of them in the same stone I have come to recognize laid to the south of the complex, only barely visible in the driving rain. Well, let's get there before the rain stops then. <laughs> that's the first statue. There's the second one. Right, the third one is supposed to be to the south of the site. Is the rain letting up? Let's not dawdle then. Hang on tight. It's been fun, though I do feel like there should have been treasure at the end of it. Bueno. Maybe. The treasure was the friends we made along the way. Aha, uh -huh. you said that, not me. <laughs> so that's that. There's one more thing. According to the book, Wolverson took a jade statue from the site, but lost it in a flash flood. I'll try and work out where that was. I'll call you as soon as I know. Now I'm intrigued. Call me, yeah? <laughs>